Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Gemma and Bernie Winter are distraught on this week's Coronation Street when they learn of Paul Foreman's plot to end his life. Paul recently asked Abby to find certain medications to utilize as part of his assisted dying strategy. Abby assisted Paul, but when Billy learned of his husband's decision, he was devastated. Billy attempted to talk Paul out of it, but was unsuccessful. After hearing Paul talk about wanting to have a choice and not be confined in his own body, Billy swore on the Bible and pledged to help him end his life when the time came. Coming up, Paul is distracted when he offers to spend the night in the ancient RV with Bernie and Gemma. They begin off, but Bernie soon pulls over in a laby, takes out a road atlas, and realizes she's a little disoriented. Back in Weatherfield, Billy attempts to contact Paul. He's concerned about where he's ended up, but is unaware that Paul's phone isn't receiving a signal. Bernie pulls over in the middle of a field and tells her children she has no idea how to go to the campsite. In the flat, a terrified Billy opens a kitchen cupboard and discovers the benzo tablets are missing, unaware that Bernie almost found them herself earlier in the week. Paul's phone eventually turns on, but Gemma answers it and hears a distraught Billy urge Paul not to take the medications since it is too soon. With Bernie and Gemma's anxious expressions, what will Paul say to them? And how will they respond? Coronation Street has announced another love triangle storyline, with a central cobbles pair headed for the rocks after a wife cheats on her husband in a torrid affair. With mother and daughter Sarah and Bethany Platt engaged in their own complex love webs, you'd think Corey would have enough to deal with, but Tracy Barlow will soon embark on an affair to determine how useful a guy former footballer Tommy Orpington truly is. Matt Milburn has reprised his role as Steve McDonald's sporting icon. With his previous relationship and job finished, Tommy is doing some DIY on the cobbles, which is fantastic news for Tracy, who needs some inside work. Nave Steve is overjoyed to have a game icon in his midst, little realizing that his marriage will be jeopardized when mischief magnet wife Tracy can't resist the pull of a passionate affair. Actor Matt raved, I think he likes her sparky nature, her quick retorts and her banter is very sharp. He enjoys being challenged. She is not an easy target in many ways, I just think they have a chemistry that neither of them expected. After multiple brief appearances throughout the years, Matt is overjoyed to be back in the role, with a longer-term narrative now in place. I was incredibly happy and over the moon because it's something I desired for years, he said, smiling. I'd been playing Tommy on and off since 2016, so hearing that I'd be returning and being given something a lot more significant made me very happy. Tommy is the ideal role for me to play because I love football and he is a well-known northern footballer. It's good to be back. Not so wonderful for Steve, who will be heartbroken when he finds out. It's unclear whether this will terminate his relationship with Tracy, but fans are well aware that Tracy isn't known for settling down. Steve hasn't always been innocent, but the rose-tinted glasses he wears for Tommy O prevent him from seeing the warning flags he has frequently displayed in the past. The cobbles are currently a hop of passion, with Bethany dating her ex Daniel Osborne despite Daisy Midgley's continued feelings for him. However, that was ruined by, you guessed it, infidelity, since she had slept with Ryan Connor. Elsewhere, Sarah is now testing the waters with criminal flame Damon Hay after her marriage fell apart owing to infidelity, but former husband Adam is out to break up the couple in any way possible. In Weatherfield, falling for someone is a high-risk proposition. Maria Connor visits the police station in Coronation Street just after Gary Windus becomes embroiled in a drama with Liam Mason and Dylan, according to the most recent spoilers for ITV's popular soap. Dylan approaches school bully Mason this week and asks whether he intends to return Liam's phone. Mason laughs and tells Dylan that if Liam shows up for their rendezvous, he's dead. After overhearing their talk, Liam swears Mason he'll be there, insisting it's time he stood up to him. As Liam approaches Mason and his friends, he overhears Dylan call him a loser. Liam, wound up and provoked by Mason, rams Dylan against a wall, just as Mrs. Crawshaw appears. Back in Weatherfield, when Gary confesses that Liam is being bullied at school and Dylan is ignoring him, Scene mocks him, but George silences him with a glance. 
Maria goes to the police station with Liam later that week, after making it apparent to Gary that he'd has done enough damage. On the cobblestones, Sean yells at Gary, telling him he's delighted he reported Liam to the police because bullies must be punished. In the station, Maria assures her son that everything would be alright if he confesses the truth. But what will Liam say? Is this the moment he confesses how badly Mason and Dylan have treated him over the last few months? And if so, how will the news affect Maria and Gary's friendship with Scene? Coronation Street returns to the cobbles next week with some life-threatening, shocking, and explosive drama, as Metro's latest video clips give you a taste of what's to come. Tracy Barlow plans to replace husband Steve McDonald with a new man, but not in the way you may expect. Well, not yet. Michael Bailey, meanwhile, is left in a precarious situation after the builder's yard catches fire and school bully Mason Radcliffe causes issues for Liam Connor and Dylan Wilson once more. Will he ever learn? It's going to be another chaotic week on the nation's most imaginary street, and if you can't wait for your next slice of cobblestone life, I'm here to make the wait a little less painful with four brand new video snippets. Not every hero wears a cape, am I correct? On his way to a confrontation with Mason, Liam overhears Dylan refer to him as a loser. Dylan attempts to explain himself, but Mason manipulates the situation, prompting Liam to fight back. A scuffle breaks out, with Liam pushing Dylan up against the wall, but Mrs. Crawshaw witnesses the incident and quickly intervenes. Is Liam going to get into trouble, or can he say that Mason goaded him and that he's been bullying him for months? The bailiffs come outside the Bailey's house and demand admission. D.D. requests further information, and one of the bailiffs informs them of Ed's debt. Ed arrives and asks the man not to enter his home, stating that he has another way to pay the bill. Tracy is certain she remembers her new painter and decorator from somewhere. She is correct, Tommy Orpington. Tommy explains that he is a retired player who decided to become a painter after making some bad financial decisions. Steve is overwhelmed when he arrives home to see Tommy O in his living room, but he is angry when he learns that the decorating will begin while he is in France. Michael notices smoke coming from the builder's yard office and, concerned for Ed's safety, makes his way up the stairs. He arrives at the top and is confronted with flames, but Ed is nowhere to be seen. However, before he can go, the flames engulf the staircase, leaving him with no escape. Michael bangs on the window pleading with someone to come rescue him. Will he be saved before it's too late? When Steve gets home and discovers Tommy O in his living room, he is overjoyed, but he is disappointed to learn that the decorating will start while he is in France. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.